Let's all join together now and pray not just for ourselves and our circuits and churches, but for the wider world at this coming Christmas time. Let's pray together. Loving God, thank you for the gift of Christmas. It never comes wrapped like other presents. It's deeper, warmer and brighter. It's more personal, more challenging, more beautiful. It's a mystery of both birth and hope. Help us to receive Christmas in our hearts and to share it with others. Today, amongst all the demands and difficulties of this very different time, we pray for those folk who are facing this very different Christmas. A Christmas without the presence of family or those close to them. God of goodness, hear our prayer. Today, in amongst the delights that Christmas brings, we pray for all who face this Christmas alone, maybe for the first time. For those with no place to call home, for refugees, for those in temporary hostels or rough and ready B&Bs. We pray especially for those children who have no idea where they will be this Christmas, or even if they will be safe. We give thanks for those groups who work hard to address the issues of child poverty and protection, reaching out to as many of these children as possible. God of goodness, hear our prayer. Today, in our, all, in our weighted, hopefully calm, celebrations of Christmas, the virtual services, carols sung on doorsteps, services to listen to or watch on television or radios. We pray for those whose lives are not calm, lives that face extreme conflict in our world, places and people that will neither lie still or calm this Christmas. God of goodness, hear our prayer. We pray too for each of our own very different churches and communities, May we find the peace of the Christ child as we welcome him afresh into our lives and enjoy this Christmas season with that peace. Not today, but soon, the Christ child will be born in a humble stable. To us, a son will be given. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Almighty, Everlasting and Prince of Peace. Again, this Christmas, we'll all be invited to look into the stable, to look with confidence and in thanksgiving, to greet our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And so, in gratitude, in hope and in joy, we can celebrate the coming Christmas joy, Emmanuel, God with us. God of goodness, hear our Christmas prayer. And may the blessing of the Christ child be upon each and every one of us today and always. Amen. At the beginning of his gospel, St. John uses poetic language to describe how God reveals himself to us in Jesus. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. And the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were made by him. And nothing was made without him. In him there was life. And that life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overpowered it. The Word was in the world, and the world was made by him, but the world did not know him. He came to the world that was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to all who did accept him and believe in him, he gave the right to become children of God. They did not become his children in any human way, by any human parents or human desire. They were born of God. The Word became a human and lived among us. We saw his glory, the glory that belongs 
to the only Son of the Father, and he was full of grace and truth. Amen. our carol service. It is our prayer that these holy songs and holy scriptures touch your hearts and in this most difficult year bring you a true peace and joy throughout your Advent preparations so that as we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ this Christmas, true peace and joy that only God can give might be the present that you and your loved ones receive. And may Almighty God bless you those you love and those you care for. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Glory strew.